Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're on a bit of a rescue mission. We're gonna try to save some broccoli seedlings from falling victim to thinning. So hang on, we'll tell you what we're doing. guys as you probably saw in our other video when we planted the broccoli we planted four seeds to a pot and unfortunately we did really good at it so a lot of the broccoli came up we have a lot more plants than we anticipated but we also have a little bit of open room so we're gonna get in here and we're gonna clean out a bed and then we're gonna see how many of these extra broccoli plants we can transplant over there because we don't want any food left behind at the end of this season. We garden frost to frost. We put up everything we grow and we need it. So we're gonna take advantage of these uh, little bit of luck we've had and uh, we're gonna see if we can't plug these in a bed and get us a little bit of extra broccoli crop. All right guys, this project is gonna start out with a piece of work. We're gonna have to go through this bed and get all these weeds out of here. And yes, you can get weeds in a raised bed. So we're gonna have to dig these out. That's gonna take us a little bit. And then we'll get this bed straightened out so we can get to work. All right, guys, we've got the weeds out of this bed and raked it down. And we've been over it with our organic vegetable and tomato food. That's a 274 blend. That's a pretty balanced. It's got twice the phosphorus that it does nitrogen. and the, that's what you're always looking for in a fertilizer, but uh, that'll give us our nitrogen, phosphorus, potash, calcium. That'll give us most of what we need. And then we still need magnesium so that the plants can use all of it. So we're going to add up. We've added Epsom salt too. So what we'll do now is we'll, we'll go through and mix that into the top inch or so of the soil. And then uh, we'll bring you back and show you what we do with it next. All right, guys, before we go too much further, I want to show you what we're going to be working with. The uh, broccoli here, like I said, we planted four to a spot, but uh, we got really lucky and several have come up. Now, we've already transplanted and, and beefed up a couple of our other beds with the big transplants, but we're going to get back in here and get even more of these. There's plenty of them. And we got spots like back there in the corner. Now, there's some small ones in there. But if we can get a big one in there, we're gonna go ahead and fix that while we're at it too. But we have plenty of these broccoli starts in these beds and I hate to see them go to waste. Those are nice six inch, seven inch tall plants. Some of them, some of them are five inches. But uh, there's some nice starts and uh, we hate to throw food away. So we're gonna do what we can to salvage as many as we can. So that's what we're working with. And we'll get back to this bed and show you what we're doing over there. All right, hold the presses. We've had a Tina spotting. Say hi to everybody. <laughs> She's out here gathering up some yellow squash. And uh, you'll take those in and uh, we'll see what we can do with those. We like having fresh squash from frost to frost. So like I said, we secession plant them. But y'all get a good look because she's disappearing on us. <laughs> All right, guys, we got this bed raked out and I uh, got the fertilizer turned into about the top inch or so of the soil. And the next step, since we're going to be doing transplants in the middle of the day, which is the absolute worst time to do it, I would suggest you start in the evening and do it if you're doing it at home. But uh, we're going to do it right here in the middle of the afternoon. So we're going to start by wetting this bed down good and then we'll mark it for the spacing of our plants. And I'll bring you back and show you that when I get it done. All right, guys, I thought I'd bring you back in here and show you. Now that we've got the bed wetted down, we went ahead and marked our holes. Now these beds are only uh, 40 inches wide, so we're gonna treat it like four feet, and that's gonna crowd it a little bit, but we're gonna treat this almost like square foot gardening. So we're gonna go four across, and uh, these beds are three sections long. I know you can't see the cross beams in them, but there's a cross beam every uh, four rows of holes you see. But uh, we got three sections here, so we're going to go four across and 12 long. 
and that'll give us a space to put in 48 new broccoli plants. So we've got the holes marked. That'll uh, one, it'll help us when we go to move the transplant, and uh, two, it'll help us keep our spacing. So got those all marked, and the next thing we're going to do is go hunting transplants. All right, guys, I'm kind of filming on my own here, so I'm going to get in here and try to get one of these out of here. Show you how we do it. I'm going to use this hoary hoary to do it, but. Uh, we got two really good plants here. We're going to split the difference in between them. Gonna take that hoary hoary and get underneath it. We're just going to pick that great big plant out of there. So we got a good root base underneath it. We'll take it out and take it over there to one of the holes and we'll get it planted. All right, guys, we got our seedling that we just took out. We've got our planting hole here and we're going to use the strength of the hoary hoary to open this hole up as we go in. But we're just going to take that broccoli plant all the way down to soil level. We'll plant it in, fix her up there a little bit, and it'll look like it grew there all along. But that's how we're going to do it. We're going to go ahead and fill this bed up. We'll bring you back here in just a little bit. All right, guys, thought I'd just bring you back in here real quick. We're probably about, I think we're exactly halfway done with the bed, but uh, they're starting to, they got a little bit of wilt to them. They'll be fine until we get get done. It's going pretty fast, but uh, we'll get them watered in once we get them done. I'll bring you back and show you that, but maybe I'd bring you in and show you my buddy. He doesn't seem to have any fear of me or me being around him planting or anything but he's been uh, keeping me company as I go so maybe he wants to live in that hole there who knows but uh, all right we'll bring you back when we get a little closer but that's the progress so far all right guys I guess I'll jump back in here real quick with a just to show you the destruction going on in the main beds where we're getting our starts from but as we pull the starts we're going back through and repairing and packing the good ones back in and they should be fine. We'll give them a good water too. But uh, just I'd bring you back in there. Uh, it's really nice so far. We don't got this bed half full, but that's a that's a 24 broccoli plants that have escaped the pruner shears. So and we probably won't pull them all. We probably won't thin these all the way down because you never know when a plant's going to die, and it always helps to have a full size start. So we'll let a few of these rock and roll. But when we get done digging, bring in here and show you, you know, you're going to have a hole. So you need to need to get those back in there and get them, get them packed back in so they can, uh, roots don't dry out underneath the ones you want to keep. So we're going to keep rolling. I'll bring you back when we get a little closer. All right, guys, I'll bring you in for one last look. We have bed completely planted now. That's uh, 48 heads of broccoli we didn't have yesterday. But uh, speaking of yesterday, this bed was full of beets. You guys saw Tina harvest the beets out of this bed. And today it is the proud owner of 48 new broccoli plants. If that gives you an idea when you're raised bed gardening, every uh, square inch of dirt is valuable. So we have to keep it working from frost to frost if we're gonna have enough food to make it through the year. So we sure don't like to buy food. And uh, we don't see any reason to. We buy some meat and a few staples, but not too much. But uh, most of all, we raise pretty much all of our own food. I'll uh, bring you down here and uh, show you that my uh, constant companion is hung with me all the way through. So he's down here uh, doing what they call puddling, which is where he sticks his tongue down into the soil to pick up different minerals he's lacking. But uh, you ever see a butterfly just sitting around with that curly thing on the front of his face down on the ground that's what he's doing it's called puddling all right guys we thought we'd give these guys a few minutes to stand back up and they pretty much have they got a little dirt on them from being watered but no big deal they'll dry and that'll fall off but I uh, wanted you to see that they weren't all gonna stay wilted they've all perked back up and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get ready to wrap this thing up I'm going to show you one other thing too. This uh, the hoary hoary that I've been using in the video. It's made by Bare Bones there. If you guys are interested in getting one of those, now I've got a I've got a link to them, but I'm I'm going to hold off and uh, 
I'm going to tell you, why don't you head over to uh, the old Keeping It Dutch channel and uh, go see my buddy Dutch over there. And uh, in one of his recent videos, he did his first ever corn harvest and he harvested some of the hybrid corn project corn that we grow here. And uh, he harvested it with his Hori Hori. We turned him on to that and we're uh, glad to see he got him one. But he, on that video, has got an Amazon link where if you would like to get one, you can go ahead and get one for yourself and he'll make a few pennies to help support his channel. It won't cost you any more, but he'll make a few pennies and uh, that'll, uh, like I said, it'll help support his channel and that'll be a little way that uh, you guys can help me pay him back for all the support that he's given us. So uh, if you would, head on over there to the Keeping a Dust channel, look in his recent videos for his first ever corn harvest. And in that video, you'll find a link for a Hori Hori where you guys can go ahead and get one for yourself. They're a real nice tool. They got that uh, serrated edge on them and they got the sharpened edge on the other side. And uh, just heavy duty. They got a metal pommel. You can just beat things to death with that thing. But you're never going to wear that thing out. Not like the cheap ones you see at the big box stores. But uh, we'll go ahead and uh, wrap this video up and I'll be right back to talk to you guys. All right, guys, that's about going to do it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. We had a great time, and uh, hopefully we saved a few broccoli plants along the way. But if you enjoyed the video, we hope you go on and hit that thumbs up button, and uh, leave us a comment down below if you got any questions or comments, and uh, join in the conversation down there. We uh, follow all the comments. We try to respond to everybody, and uh, the more comments and stuff you leave down there, the better the channel will become. We take our cues from you guys. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. If you, uh, like I said, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up, leave us a comment. And if you like the content here on the channel, we hope you'll subscribe. Or if this is your first time here, please go on and hit that subscribe button down below. And uh, next to it is a bell. If you'll click that bell, that'll send you notifications whenever we release new videos. And that'll help you follow along with the channel. But we've had a great time having you here at the Bumblebee Junction. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.